In this video, we'll be buying, customizing, maxing out, and reviewing the Karen Vivanite. So, I've done it. I've done what I said I would never do. I've bought the Vivanite. Now, I've done this so you don't have to. So please, please, I beg, a like, subscribe, and comment would really help with the pain. And where do I start with this? This thing is based on the Toyota Sienna. Yep, the Toyota Sienna. And if you're in the UK and you don't know what a Sienna is, just think of the Toyota Previa, but fatter and uglier. So why would you not want this as your daily runaround in an online crime simulator? Why indeed? So before I get to the review, and I promise, I will get to the review. I need to pose the question, who was asking for this? I don't usually moan about what Rockstar choose to add into GTA Online. I'm very much a live and let live to each his own kind of chap. <laughs> hey, I've got limits. If you offered me a lift in this in real life, I think I'd choose to walk instead. In fact, I think I'd rather pull myself across broken glass using only my eyelids than own one of these. So I'm damned if I know if I'd want one in a game that I play just for fun. But. It's a new car and a HSW one at that, so I owe you guys a review, which I will try and do now. And I will try not to rant again, but I'm offering no promises. So, I don't know what Vivianite means, but I do know that Vivianite is a mineral known to grow on and around fossilised bones. So it's something that happens to you when you're dead. I'm saying nothing. So, if you want this monstrosity, you can pick it up from Southern San Andreas Supersport for a cool 1.6 million. Bargain! Now, annoyingly, this thing has quite a lot of customization, along with a $700,000 HSW upgrade. Bargain! Now, it definitely has more customization than many of the cars in GTA Online. You have some bull bars for some reason, a decent selection of bonnets, skirts, some grills, some crap you can put on the roof, and a few spoilers. Mine is just going to be matte white with crappy steel wheels because you can't polish a turret and you can't even roll this one in glitter. Right, and with that, we reach the top speed test. Now, if you're new here, I drive a measured mile as quickly as I can and time it to give you an achievable average top speed through traffic. Now, being a HSW car, I'm expecting this to do quite well and it does feel reasonably quick, but certainly not among the fastest of the HSW cars. And here's what we managed to do. Now for the review and final thoughts. Annoyingly, this does drive quite well. It's based on a hybrid and I can't think of another hybrid in the game that actually drives like a hybrid. Even the dilettante, which is also based on a hybrid, doesn't do it. So what this does is it starts silently and when you get going you hear the excuse for an engine wheeze into life and proceed to sit at maximum revs constantly which is basically how a hybrid drives the combination of this is that it really does build up speed quite well and quite alarmingly at times you can feel the whole thing winding up and around town the handling is almost nice it feels quite well balanced and oversteer is actually fun and really controllable however when you get up to speed the weight and squidgy suspension takes over and it becomes a wallowing whale with very woolly steering. In many ways, I'd say this is possibly one of the most realistic driving models in the game. If you really did modify one of these, I imagine this is pretty much what it would drive like. You know, it's got a good turn of speed, but handling impaired by the weight and top heavy nature of the car. So should you buy it? Uh, no, 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 you shouldn't. It's bloody awful and not in a good way. You look at like the Vamos, the Vamos is awful in a good way. The same with the Slam Van. Whereas this is just awful. I will say it's probably better than you think it's going to be. And it's a lot better than it should be, but it's still awful. And you'll be into this for nearly 3 million by the time you're done with HSW upgrades and mods. And honestly, I don't think it even has any value as an ironic choice. You know, like the Cherubuck or the Nebula. And if you want to have a look at some of those, you can see a view on the Nebula over here. But this, this is just shit. And you should avoid it at all costs. But anyway, here's the time that it did. Thanks so much for watching. Please do drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Up next, I've added a link to one of this week's other offer cars if you want to have a look at that. 
and before that here are all the times I've recorded so far. So thanks again and I will see you all in the next video.